Good morning. Good morning. We just left Robinal and we're heading up the mountain. Uh, we've left the terrain of the plains and we're now walking in forests and mountains. So it's going to be a, an adjustment. Uh, today we're going to stop by one of the most important places on the Camino, uh, the Cruz de Ferro. I'll explain it a little more a little later, but it's a beautiful morning. Uh, once again, they're predicting showers, but we're hoping to be in our new place by the time the showers begin this afternoon. I hope you guys have a great day. Uh, as you can see, uh, we've got some beautiful terrain to walk in this morning and have a great day. This is the Cruz de Ferro. It's a significant stop on the Camino. It's where pilgrims uh, bring a rock uh, from home and uh, drop it here at the Cruz de Ferro. It's supposed to symbolize anything that, uh, whether it be grief or pain or frustration or anything that keeps you from having a peaceful uh, spirit or anything that's bothering you, the burden that you're carrying. You're supposed to drop it here and leave it here at the Cruz de Ferro. Uh, I brought a rock from uh, my home in Kentucky. I'm going to drop it here today and uh, as a symbol and leave it here at the Cruz de Ferro. We're coming down the rocky backside of the highest point in the Camino.
Good evening. Good evening. We've come to the end of day 32. We're in a small little hamlet here called El Acebo. Um, we had a pretty significant climb out of Robinau uh, to the Cruz de Ferro. We actually crossed uh, the highest point on the Camino today. Uh, and then after we crossed that, it's been pretty much downhill <laughs> until we got here. And we were still going downhill here. Yes. So uh, it's been a, I guess you would say, a tough day on Sherry because um, she struggles on days when it's the footing's not great and it's it got rocky and not level and all that kind of stuff. So it took us a little longer today than normal. Um, you know, they, you know, as far as the Camino goes, they say that the decline into Zubiri is tough. What do you think about that? Um, I'm not on that bandwagon at all. Um, I did the decline into Zubiri and I hardly even um, recall it. Uh -huh. <laughs> but this decline into um, Acebo, El Acebo, was like, I'm thinking two hours or two hours plus, but it was, you know, if I hadn't had my poles, I don't know what I would have done. There was just no level footing for a significant amount of time. And, and Zubiri didn't have that either. I mean, when you're going into Zubiri, it's not level, but it was, what, 30 minutes? I mean, it was longer than that, but it didn't seem as long as today. Right. Today was longer. Um, it was uh, from the highest point, basically from Cruz de Ferro, you were on unlevel footing. So you had to go up with unlevel footing. And then when you got to the highest point, you had to come down. And basically for the rest of the day, we were on unlevel rocks and that kind of stuff. So, and that slate stuff that sticks up, I mean, yeah. just like that jagged stuff. So yeah, it's, uh, yeah. Um, Zubiri was tough, but this seems to be longer and more, and not more difficult, but it just seems like it's longer. So it's a continuous fight all the way down. Uh, so today was a little tougher because you have to be more um, safe and you know more secure on your footing to get down into this area but it's a, a we're in the mountains now and the beauty is unbelievable and I think it's tougher because you want to stop and look around and see the sight, <laughs> sights that you're seeing but yet you got to be safe and look at your feet and make sure you're not stepping somewhere that would cause you a problem so um, and it's hard enough I was trying I told I told Richard I was like I still had 10 to 12 times where I placed my foot and it still just rolled you know the rock gave and you just feel like you're bruising your feet at that point or I didn't clear a rock and you're banging your toes so um, that was my issue today it was just a little frustrating because um, I just I don't know I don't feel like I was on my A game or something. I bet, I don't know what I could have done differently. Thank goodness I have poles. Yeah, but just the confidence level. I think the confidence level when she's on rocky ground is a little tougher. Uh, so, um, and wanting to be secure. So, uh, we, we sat with dinner tonight with a, a lady that said she felt like it, this today was very tough for her too, for the same reasons, because it was yeah. just so, um, difficult with the rocks and the uneven pavement and the uneven rocks and stuff that she had to deal with that she felt like it was a very tough day for her and she was very very tired yes she was tired because she had to deal with all that today so yes. it's uh you know not a lot of people mention this little decline after uh, this they say it's tough but it's really tough for people that are, that just not really comfortable on this type of uh, uh, terrain, so. Yes, and that's a good point because the gentleman we sat with was from South Korea, and he said there, a lot of their terrain is very similar to this. So I think it was like a hop, skip, and a jump for him. So if you're used to this, it's probably no big deal. But if you're like me and you have to watch every single step, 
it's a little bit bigger deal. Just just plan accordingly to have time. Just understand that it, that it's not you're not walking on a smooth path. Right. And be ready for that <laughs> as you walk down that path. Yes. And thank goodness we had beautiful weather today. Yeah. If it had been rainy or slick, because it was slate and could have been muddy. Yeah. Um, it's all about timing and weather. And today's weather was amazing. It's sunny and it's bright and it was dry. So that helped a lot. So um, anyway, uh, tomorrow's another day and uh, we can't wait to get started. We're heading to Pomferrada tomorrow. Um, this has been a great stop here. We really enjoyed it. We had our uh, dinner here. Uh, it was a really good dinner. We're staying here at uh, La Casa de Peregrino. Yes, the and new one. That's the new at the one. End of town. Yeah, and it uh, it's been really great so far, and uh, we can't wait to get in bed and get up and start our new day. So, uh, thanks for watching. We appreciate you guys following us along, and we hope it's interesting to you and Buen Camino.